Friday to you on this January 14th, 2022. Very good. And I am Are so you all remembering happy. to write the 22 at the end of your dates? I've messed up a couple times. Oh, yeah. It's weird, huh? <laughs> it is weird. 2022. You, <laughs> you don't have to write the date down. I, 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 re I uh, realize as much as we used to, right? Like I used to write a lot of checks. Checks. Absolutely. Years ago. Never mm -hmm. had to do that anymore. But uh, when I do it, I, I, we type in uh, in the morning when we uh, record our little open for the sunrise show. We all do our part mm -hmm. and we save it for the editors. I mm -hmm. always put the date and for some reason I include the year. You do the year? I, I go 1-14-20. Should be two, but I keep putting one. Weird. I only do yeah. that for Alexa. Okay. The date. The yes. others, just the day of the week. All Got right. It. No one knows what we're talking about. Well, they about. don't know about the Alexa, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay. 70 years ago, on this date, the Today Show debuted with just two hours of news. Uh, what year was that? 19? Uh, what 52. Was 52? Yes. Um, and we have some, do we have some clips from that day? The black and <laughs> We've got a lot of questions to start this show with. I know, hours. right? So we were asking, you know, the Today Show has been a part of so many people's kind of morning routines sure. when you get up and you turn the TV on and you run around, you make coffee and breakfast and get ready for the day. Um, so maybe, you, you know, you have some stories, um, you, our audience have some stories watching the Today Show or who was your favorite anchor or personality on there throughout the years. Or really, what is just your kind of go-to morning routine aspect that you can sure. get rid of? I mean, I know a lot of people see this later in the day. Maybe they're sleeping mm -hmm. in right now. And good for you people, by the way, <laughs> and your ability to sleep in during the week. Uh, but for the people who watch us live right now, I mean, they are obviously early risers. You all have routines. One of them is watching this show, maybe, on a regular basis, Sunrise Extra. But, you know, what's that one thing that you look forward to? Because the mornings can be rough, even on the weekend. You know, the, you don't really jump, jump out of bed usually, right? Like, you don't mm, jump out of the bed. At, never. You want to have a reason to get out of bed. <laughs> Something that kind of motivates you to start the day. Uh, maybe it's just a cup of coffee. Maybe it's that hot shower. We want to hear what that thing is. Mm -hmm. So chime in on our streams. Well, this do you morning. guys want to share your kind of moments first with oh. the Today Show and then give people um, oh. some fodder, you know? Okay, well, Drew, let's start with yours. Okay. Tell yeah. us the story to set this up. So, uh, yes, we're using this, this Today Show uh, 70th anniversary as our inspiration for the topic this morning. Back in 2009, Al Roker, you see him right there, showed up in Portland early in the morning at McCoy Park in How old Portland. were you here? I was, uh, what is uh, 13 minus 47? I was, I guess. Oh, you're a young buck. Is 34? Is that right? I don't know. You're the math whiz. Yeah. Is this uh, I, I just turned 35, now that I'm thinking about it. I had just turned 35 because this was June. Okay. Uh, and Al came to town, and I don't know, for some reason that morning when I was trying to have some fun with him and he wasn't having it, and my jive and his groove weren't clicking. <laughs> He but got a little chippy with you. He did. But eventually he took the camera off of my photographer's shoulder there. You see that. And he started doing the camera work himself. <laughs> uh, oh, we actually have the physical clip of Al removing the camera from my photographer. Take a look. We just saw it. Yeah. Well, we're Does anybody ever see camera Steve? He's only 26 years old. Oh, look at how I've aged him. Don't do this. He's going to shy away. <laughs> we'll, I'll never hey! see 3D <laughs> cobbler. It's, forget about HD. It's 3D. <laughs> There's actually a zoom button on there. Al, you don't have to. You don't have to rock back and forth. This is more fun. Oh, I gotta go. Uh, that's it. I gotta go. Gotta should, go. Should I go with you to the Today Show? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> stay away. Part. Nina said, "Wait, your photographer wasn't 26." Uh, just before that moment started, Al had asked, "How long have you two worked together?" I said, three years." I said, "That guy is only 26 years old, but look how much he's aged in those three years." It was kind of a joke because he was supposed to look, you know, a lot older because of working with me. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. What was your kind of take? Did you feel weird, like after the live shot, or were you like, "Man, that was kind of..." Honestly, it was completely uncomfortable, and I don't know how that started, but. Um, you know, those, if you saw earlier in the morning, we were there in the dark. I mean, the sun hadn't even come up yet when we started doing these um, live hits and, and Al being on an East Coast show uh, was doing his shots even earlier than, mm -hmm. than we were that morning. And uh, sometimes, you know, he was doing his thing and, the show, and our show would come out to me live and expect me to be with Al Roker and I'd be like, he's, he's busy. Mm -hmm. So I would start the live deal, but kind of like inch my way over to where he was <laughs> and sort of just like kind of, him. yeah, it's just sort of like put myself into his space and like, hey, Al, we're live on our show this morning. You can almost see that look of, ah, uh, I got to deal with you too. 
Yeah. I think what people don't realize sometimes is, or at least at first, is that these guys, when they do their network junkets, <laughs> they are just ripping through station after station after station after station, day after day after day after day. And sometimes it is exhausting. It's yeah. like, oh, it's our first time seeing them, but they're like, you know, on day 26. Mm -hmm. That was one of the things that I remember about the Today Show in 2006. Um, we went back to do a promo with the team when Meredith Vieira came on. Mm. Um, Matt Lauer was there at the time oh, and she yeah. was joining him as co-host. And we were one of like, literally like 25 or 26 of the top stations. Mm -hmm. And they were so nice. I'm like, how are you faking it? Cause you seem like you'd be super fun to get a beer with and just like hang out and talk. Mm -hmm. They didn't seem jaded. They didn't seem like annoyed. They didn't seem bored. They were like on their game that day. And I know that is hard to do mm -hmm. when you go through mm -hmm. so many people. Yeah, no yeah I didn't have that experience. <laughs> Uh, he was, uh, as, you, as you mentioned, he was on a tour. I think it was a week-long tour. We were stop number three. But, yeah, the morning before, he was, in, like, in North Carolina oh, <laughs> at the yeah. crack of dawn doing yeah. a live uh, live broadcast. And then 24 hours later, here he is on the West Coast doing his thing. Yeah. Um, so it was cool. And, you know, you look back at those times, like, why was my hair so short? So I went further back uh, a couple of months in the archives, and I had just shaved my head in April of that year for a oh, St. Baldrick's, Baldrick's fundraiser. I remember and that. And the hair was still growing back two months later. So Yeah, anyways. you look so young. I have a picture. I was here at KGW for like two or three months as a reporter here on Sunrise. And I remember getting up in the morning and I woke up to a text from my executive <laughs> producer saying, get in here as soon as you can. The Today Show called. They want you live on the show for this story that was in Vancouver on a child who brought a gun to school. Um, no one was hurt, but it was in that kind of <clears throat> time when, you know, school shootings were very top of mind. And instantly it was tummy ache. You um, got oh, I was so nervous. Nervous. And, and why just the anticipation, you be? yeah. Yeah. And so we were out there, you can see it's super foggy and cold. And I was like, oh, I better look my best. This is my one shot on the Today Show. And I did not want to flub up what I was gonna say. So I was just extra memorizing everything. And it was Natalie Morales who tossed to me. And so I did, uh, you know, read the whole story. We had a sound bite, and then it came out to me. And she asked me one question, and I knew what the question was going to be, so I was prepared. <laughs> but the whole time, I was just about to throw up, so nervous. <laughs> But, but it went okay. off without a hitch, yeah. Right. And um, it was wonderful, but I was like, oh my God, I've only been here three months. This is scary. You know what else I remember about that trip back to New York City? is you know when you see how the other half lives and then you come back and you're a little grumpy yeah. because oh my gosh they have a huge staff and they were like they took my jacket and they were steaming stuff and they were primping and everybody had a thing mm -hmm. like a really tiny piece of this big production and I was like oh I get used to yeah. this. <laughs> it really is a show, right? I mean, yeah. they put on a show yeah, every do. morning in New York City. Yeah, they we do. call it the Sunrise Show, but it is just uh, cobbled together every day. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there is no, uh, you know, primping staff behind the scenes here. We do have a great production staff, producers that put the show together, yeah. but no one's doing our hair. Who was your guys' like favorite anchor on the Today Show? I always really liked Nellie Morales. I liked Jane Pauley a lot. Yeah. Um, when and she was there. Katie Couric too. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was kind of a height. She of, was fun. She had yeah. a fun personality, but she was tough too. And um, I mean, I like the yeah. fact that Willard Scott was such a long time part of that show. You know, even after he kind of semi retired, he was still involved in, in the in the show and he had that Smucker's birthday yes. uh, announcement for the people who reached 100 years old. Yes. So that's always a great part of the uh, Today Show action. Um, Kristen Lebensky says Savannah and Hoda really do seem like they would be the nicest women in real mm -hmm. life. They do seem like, you that. know, it really is that relatable thing, you right. know, that I mentioned. They do so much like um, they do the hard stuff. They do the fun stuff. They put themselves out there in wacky costumes. It's just like a little bit of everything, like real life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you guys watched the uh, the morning show on on uh, Apple TV? Have you watched that series? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And a lot of people now will ask me, like, is, is that what it's like on your show? No, not like <laughs> on our show at all. But I, I'm yeah. looking. I've only seen the uh, first few episodes of the first season, and I'm not probably going to continue watching it. I just don't. I'm not going to invest my time in that mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but. I, I'm wondering, I'm looking at that, and that is basically the uh, someone's take on what happened on the Matt Today Lauer Show story. with the Matt Lauer mm -hmm. story. Yeah. Like, how do they get away with telling that story? I mean, it's, it's not based on, they can't even say it's loosely based on, but clearly <laughs> it's inspired oh, yeah. by. Oh, yeah, and that was the, you know, that was 
the openly the point right of it right. but yeah I don't know what season the season two came out and I don't know what the if it's just continuing on with you know and that's What's one of that the darker days in Steve yeah Carell, if he's still in season yeah. two in some way that is uh, one of the darker that. moments in today's show history, right? But I remember yeah, that, absolutely. Brenda, and maybe you do too, Nina. I can't remember what your role was here at KGW on that particular day, but I remember being live down at Pioneer Courthouse Square at the Holiday Ale Festival when that headline broke just before probably our five o'clock hour, right, on sunrise? Yeah. Uh, that, you know, Matt Lauer wasn't going to be on the show today. In fact, he's probably gone for good. And it, was, yeah. it happens so quick. Like, usually there's some leaks or there's a headline, and then a few weeks later, a fallout. But it was like, boom, boom. Yeah, it was. and I saw and someone I else on the stream say this, but I liked him too. You know, when he before we knew any of this, like mm -hmm. well, I really enjoyed watching him. I liked his interview style, but he could be fun, and we liked all the guys <laughs> that fell from grace before they fell right. from yeah. grace. I mean, yeah. think of how many there have been now. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, you're right. I remember um, Savannah and was it Hoda who was sitting there with with uh, Savannah, and then they had to address it off the top well, of the was, show. Yeah, and both it was of just them. like mm -hmm. raw and like I thought it was Meryl Sierra. That was after Meredith? No, it was her and Hoda that announced okay. that Matt Lauer. Yeah, okay. that was Archer. wild. Um, let's see here. Um, Mark Eastman, good morning to you. He says, my routine is to get up, have coffee, um, watch KGW News, our morning show, and then the Today Show, and his day is set. Nice. Courtney easy, Willingham kind of says the same thing on YouTube this morning. She says, my morning routine is up at 5 with a hot cup of tea and cream, Egg with mm. cheese and toast and KGW before I get all my kids up for school. Thank you. I like that routine. <laughs> uh, Courtney <laughs> says, I know this sounds weird, but I've never watched the Today Show. I've seen clips of certain stories, but never the whole show. Hmm. Oh, interesting. What do you do? Like, you're on the she street. Gets, and yeah, you... she says she watches us, and then she gets her kids up for school, and Got then it. it's... Okay, yeah, crazy. Veronica says uh, the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup and watching Sunrise <laughs> Extra. <laughs> it's hard to, to not quote a commercial. It, you know, a lot of people work from home these days, um, mm. and that's a trend that kind of started before COVID and then really kicked into high gear. It's hard to work from home and not catch some of the Today Show if you put your TV on because it's on for four stinking hours now, <laughs> right? It's like a marathon every day yeah. on that show from seven to eleven. And Brenda, you were telling me that when you started on the Sunrise Show. 1989, it was just 30 minutes back then. No, it was an hour. It was an hour. Yeah, it was 30 minutes before that. Um, when I came here in 89, um, yeah, they expanded to one hour. So it was like six to seven. And then it was 5.30 to 7. And then it was 5 to 7. And Every was, time that happened, were you, were you like kind of excited? Like, oh, our show's getting bigger. No. Were you like, oh, man, it's like earlier and earlier. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so much, like, what are you people doing? Nobody needs news at 4.30 in the morning. It's Come on now. Weird, it's like a weird thing in life where, uh, you know, we got into this because we wanted to do this for a living, right? We thought it'd be cool. But the minute they keep putting more responsibilities on us, it's depressing. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't want to do it anymore. And the same with, I used to think that in college too, like I'm paying for this education, but I want to miss class. I don't want to go. <laughs> but you want to miss class. Oh boy. <laughs> yes, right. <clears throat> I never used to drink coffee at all before mm -hmm. this show. And I would just be, I remember I would, I was filling in for Ashley Corslin or when I was a reporter on this show, when I first started here at KGW, right. I would be typing and literally like just falling asleep, <sighs> sitting up at my chair. And, but I just, I hate the taste of coffee. I never thought it was good. And so finally, I don't know, maybe two years ago, I just started drinking one little thing of like iced espresso or something okay. like that, iced okay. coffee. Yeah. And that's all I can handle, but that's kind of changed now. But now I have, and if I don't have it on the weekend, I feel like I get a headache oh, like the yeah. second or third day. Mm -hmm. So now I have a little bit on the weekends. Yeah, no, I love coffee, have always yes. loved coffee. Show people, oh, you have um, like the biggest Coffee correct. That one's pretty uh, tame. Well, I, one's over there my, my, my coffee correct. Well, this is just my regular yeah. coffee cup, but I bring a thermos. <laughs> uh -huh. And then I left my thermos here one day. And so I couldn't go without the coffee. I make like a half pot. And so I, the only thing I could find in our kitchen was like one of those big carafes. I'm like, that's coming with me. I'd like to see you have one of those big, like, um, uh, <laughs> those big igloo chests. Uh, with like the spout on the side. Right, and I mean, carry it around with me. that. The only time I did Coleman, like that's coffee. that's the word I was looking for. Coleman coolers. Yeah. Is when I was pregnant. It would like the smell would make me nauseous. Oh really? And everybody here at the time drank coffee, and I would just be like on set between like news stories going. Mm, mm. But yeah, every other time I'd, I'm 
huge so coffee. I holder. have a picture of it from the other day. Brenda's uh, oh, you can't really coffee see. holder. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Too fuzzy. So oh, blurry. You can pull general, it back a little bit. So blurry. General gist. Yeah, you it's know what huge. a carafe looks like. Yeah. You get the general it's gist. Huge. That's Brenda Braxton <laughs> like in that six picture. Six cups. <laughs> Gotta. <clears throat> I, I, I've never um, drank coffee without creamer in it or sugar. Uh, and I think, Brenda, like you obviously just take your coffee straight up black coffee, I period. I call that other stuff pollution. <laughs> and that's, I'm guessing that's how like you grew up, like your parents probably drank their coffee that way? Oh no, my dad was a cream. Really? So like how did you start coffee. with just the plain black coffee? Um, I think honestly the first time I started drinking coffee I was a camp counselor at the sixth grade. You know how all the high schoolers were right. counselors for uh -huh. the sixth grade outdoor school? Uh -huh. That's when I started. You were an outdoor coffee. school counselor. Oh mm -hmm. wow! Yeah, that's cool. Yep, yep, yep. And, and they I didn't put cream in your coffee then, so you don't no, put it in there now. I didn't. I don't. I mean, I I like lattes and stuff, but when I come here in the morning, I just like steaming hot black yeah. French rose coffee. That's my, it. My mom would always like set up the whole thing like every morning for herself, essentially. Um, you know, she had a little thing of a creamer in a little like and it looked like a little like syrup jar almost uh -huh, you know uh -huh. and then she had the, the sh packets of sugar in it like why would she pull out the whole thing and put that down for herself but she had like sugar <laughs> packets and nice. then she had the coffee like carafe there and she so I always just had my coffee like I started drinking coffee with her and always put the cream and sugar in it like she did now I if I try to drink the coffee plain if you will mm -hmm. eh, I don't Too dig it or something. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. dig it gotta sweeten it up oh my goodness what, what? look who's back today who? What? Joshua Madrid. Oh, where has he been? I feel like I haven't heard from you, Joshua, you in a while. I'm just going to read it cold here. I, don't, okay. I have no idea what Joshua is going to say. He always starts with good morning. Good morning back good to morning. you. Um, as many are saying, it really has become a habit to wake up and check in with Sunrise Extra. It's typically a fun way to get my mind going and have a laugh before taking on waking up a middle schooler. <laughs> big job when they're that age. Um, then I throw on the Today Show as I get the kiddo ready for their day and then it's back to sleep by 9.30. Nice. Cheers. Because he works nights. Yeah. That's right. Bartender. Bartender. Hours. Doing That's the night right. shift. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. J.R. Raven weighing in on YouTube. I drink my coffee very strong, usually a dark roast. She has about a quarter cup of coffee to my 16 ounces of water huh. with cream and sugar. Wait, what? Quarter cup of coffee to 16 ounces of water. Oh, is that that's just how you make coffee? Huh? I don't know. Good one. Try <laughs> sprinkling cinnamon into the ground coffee right before brewing, Quintana Hill says. Interesting. Ooh. Shireen Miller Simmons says the sunrise is gorgeous right now. Do we have a sky cam before we leave everybody Could this be a good morning? Way to end the show. You're yeah, right. it would be. I'd love to see that. We've had some amazing sunsets. Um, I'm stuck in the studio during the morning, but in the evening, it's been amazing when it was clear a couple days ago. They say good things come to those who oh. wait. We waited and we got <laughs> it. Look, there the is your sunrise this morning. Oh, yes. right on. Love it. Whoa. Love it. You guys are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to end a Friday edition of Sunrise Extra. The sunrise happening right now. Have a great rest of your Friday, gang.